So Paul, we've seen uh, nine changes today, uh, quite a youthful side as well coming in and still got the three points with a 2-0 victory. Your thoughts on the game? It's been a great weekend for us, you know, but, uh, especially we're trying to manage the week with four games in a week. We've got a big game Wednesday. Um, so we backed up a really good performance on Saturday with, uh, like you say, I, I went into the game, I was this kid of my changes as well, so that's probably helped the situation. But... But when you look at... Ben McLean's been with us as a young boy, got released from Blues. He's been out this year. He's had 40-odd games at Step 4, learning his game. Uh, we, we all know what Cookie's capable of. Jack Sang's, Jack Sang's been training with the first team most of the season. He's been around us a little bit. Uh, Manny up top. Um, you know, it, it's you've got young Charlie Williams. Um, you know, and then you've got a mixture of... You look at the two golden oldies at the back today, Junior and Mace. It was, it was as good as a home performance as anything this season, really. Um, I think probably the time of the year, having, you know, having so many young players in the side with, 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 with legs, with legs and energy, you really probably did well for us today. Um, you put Melis in the mix as well, don't you? Um, and then the golden oldies, like you say, Junior, Nice, Gitto, Connor in that, you know, that tremendous really, you know really it was you know I'm um, you know massive credit got to go to people within the club because you look at young Manny you know and Jackson they spend a lot of times with the 18s and the 23s and you know the work that sort of um, sort of Chris and Scott and Mark Fogarty and all of them have done you know we've, we've got some decent young kids around the place now I wouldn't have been able to do this um, up until this season really and um uh, and it's, it is big steps for them, but it's a great experience for them as well. They've played in the National League and, you know, they've all acquitted themselves really well today. Um, it's wonderful for the young boy to get a goal. Um, you know, I've coached some good players over the years. Some of them have never played in the National League. So some of these boys have played in it today and, and scored in it, which is great. So, no, it was a, listen, it was um, a really, really good performance today. Really good. You just talked there about Manny's uh, debut goal. You see him embrace his teammates at the end of it as well. So there been much talk in the changing room afterwards about the goal. No, he was just trying to sort his goal bonus out. He didn't agree it before the game, so he's in trouble now. And no, it was lovely. It was nice. The twenty threes were up here and they uh, a bit of a lap of honour before the game. And it, it's, it's nice for them as well. Listen, that's how it works. You know, they inspire to get up the chain, get up the ladder. It's hard work. It's hard work. Like these kids get released from football clubs. It's difficult for them. Um, you know, and uh, you know, you know, it's you know, great, super fun because it, it was. He probably should have had a pen just before the goal. To be honest, I think when David looked back, looked back at that one, he probably, yeah, um, probably probably might have needed a bit of help from his assistant because of the angle. Uh, but it was a threat. You know, you know what, what the fans have talked to him because he he doesn't get missed. I mean, he's up against some good centre half, experienced centre half there. But he's kept running. He's kept using his body. He's got knocked around a bit. He's come back from home. I mean, fans say that. That's why fans straight away there was a there was a connection. Um, you know, and like you say, I'm really, you know, you know, like you say, especially you know, Sangi and him, you know, and Curtis Wood getting on at the end, it's great for them. But then players who've been with us before, like you know, Kieran uh, and Ben, you know, for them to come in and play and play really well. Kieran was excellent today, and Ben McLean was tremendous in there. And you know, it's lovely, just you know, and I, it's nice that we've got that relationship with them players that you know will come back and help us out. And with this week, we've gotten, but I mean, I'm you know, I'm half flabbergasted to be honest, but. Uh, you know, some of the old boys sitting in the stand, they must be, they must be quaking in the boots. I mean, we've got a big game on Wednesday, Starbridge in the Cup final. Uh, what's the team looking like for that game? Have we got most people back or is there still a few people out yeah, there? Yeah, no, I mean, listen, we've tried to, obviously today we, we had that in mind, um, you know, um, uh, the beauty of having some of these players signed and some good young boys around the place. So we were able to make them challenges. So, yeah, listen, it, 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 after a long, hard season, you know, with so many niggles and injuries we've had this year, we put a real good shift in Saturday. So it was important that a number of players, we, we, we were able to take them out today and give them a breather, um, you know, to give us the best possible chance to... Uh, to be competitive on on Wednesday, so that was that was the idea of today, really. And listen, it, it's worked brilliantly for us. We've we haven't picked up any injuries. We've been able to rest some players, um, and we've we've put a very good side. So it's it's what you call a Carlsberg day, I think.